All right, this is a tangent tangent angle. So the tangent, remember, just barely touches the circle. So here is our tangent, and here is our other tangent. The vertex is outside, so typically we would do half the difference because the vertex is outside. But on this one, we also know that this arc, this minor arc that is closest to the angle is supplementary to the angle. So this is 180 together. So we know that arc BD plus 63 is equal to 180. But we know that arc BD is actually 6x plus 15. So we can put that in for arc BD, this guy. And then we know add on our 63 and that equals 180. So we're gonna solve this algebraically. So I'm gonna do 180 minus 63 minus 15 in my calculator and I get 6x is equal to 102. Then I'm gonna divide by six and 102 divided by six is 17. It asks for the value of x, so that makes this problem complete. On our next problem, it is similar, but not exactly the same. Um, this time my vertex, again, is outside the circle, so it's a secant, secant angle with the vertex outside the circle. That's where the similarities end. Then I know that because the vertex is outside, it's half the difference, half the difference of the two arcs that are created by the secant secant angle. So we want one half of the difference of 12x plus six minus 42 is equal to three x. So then I've got some algebra to do. I would not like to take half of all of those things. So instead, I'm gonna multiply by two on both sides to get rid of that one half. So that leaves me with 12x minus 36 is equal to 6x. Subtract 12x and I get 30, negative 36 equals negative 6x. So that means that six is equal to x. It asks for the value of x, so I am done with that problem. On number 25, I'm gonna do um, the exact same thing. So I am going to do, here's my tangent and my secant. So I'm gonna do this arc, the major arc, subtracting the minor arc. So 164 minus 43, but I need half of that is equal to my x. I'm gonna type all of that into my calculator so I'm gonna type in one half of 164 minus 43. I'm using my handheld calculator. That gave me 60.5 is equal to X. Ask for the value of X, so I am done. The next one is a little bit trickier. This is going back to our chord uh, radius relationships. And we know that in a chord radius relationship, if we are equidistant, which we are, because AE is equivalent to AF, then we know that the chords are equivalent. So that means that BG is equal or congruent to CD. Well, it doesn't give me BG, it only gives me BE, 3X plus two, and it gives me CD, which is 8X minus 10. But remember, when we talk about these chords being distant, that means they make a right angle, and that means that they are bisected. So that means that I can take this, 3x plus 2, and write it over here as well. Or I can double 3x plus 2. Either way, I'm going to get 6x plus 4 is equal to 8x minus 10. I'm going to solve that. So I'm going to add 10 to both sides. That gives me 14 on the left. Subtract 6x. That's going to give me 2x. So 7 is equal to x. I am not done this time because it asks for the value of CD, and I know CD is equal to 8 times 7 minus 10, so that's 56 minus 10, which is 46. There are no units, so I can stop there. All right, last four problems. Um, this guy, we're talking about Z, circle Z, that means that's the center of the circle, which means this is a radius, ZA. Um, it also tells me the value of ZA is 6, so this is 6, and AB, which is a tangent, so my tangent, AB, is also 8. So I am looking at a tangent and a radius, and those intersect at a right angle. So that means that I have a lovely right triangle. 
My first line of defense on right triangles is always Pythagorean theorem. And this guy happens to be a triple. If you have forgotten what a triple is, remember wherever the right angle is, those are the sides that get added together. Of course, they get squared first. But this would be um, 8 squared plus 6 squared equals BZ squared. So that would be 64 plus 36, which is 100. And that makes this 10 for BZ. So from here all the way to here is 10, or this guy is 10. It's also a triple, 3, 4, 5, so double it, 6, 8, 10. But it asked me for CB. So what do I know about line segment CZ? Well, it's congruent to line segment ZA because it is also a radius. So if the whole thing is 10 and I know part of it is 6, then 10 minus 6 gives me 4. So CB would be 4. Our next one is like one of those, um, oh, actually our next one is like an ACT-ish type of problem. Um, <clears throat> this is one where I have to know the circumference formula, and I'm not going to give you the circumference formula ever, ever. Like you need to know that. So the circumference formula is 2 pi r or pi times the diameter. Since I'm looking for the diameter, I'm going to use the pi times diameter problem. It tells me the circumference is 16 pi, and that's equal to pi times the diameter. If I divide both sides by pi to get the diameter by itself, all pi's cancel, and I get 16 is equal to the diameter. Our next one is like one that we have had before on Savas, but the one on Savas was a lot more complex. This one's actually pretty simple. Um, I have given this angle, which is 80 degrees, which subtends this arc. That places that arc at 160. Remember, the angle is half of the arc. Well, if that arc is 160, <clears throat> then this arc over here has to make up the other 360 degrees, so that means that that other arc is going to be 360 minus 160, which is 200. So when I'm lo looking over here on the other side for this angle of x, it's going to be half of my 200, which is 100. On the Savas homeworks, they were a lot more detailed. Um, so, yeah. All right, last one is our tangent tangent um, relationship and so it's this guy and this guy and we know that the lengths are equivalent so this is equal to this so that means that 4x plus 3 equals 5x minus 10 add 10 and get 13 on the left subtract 4x and get x on the right value of x value of x that is all I got for you today. Happy studying. Test on Monday. Tuesday through Friday is library renovation project. Remember that your sketch and any other library renovation project things are due by Monday night. Once we get into the library on Tuesday, they will all be closed and I will no longer accept them.